Watcher everybody and welcome back to the Zeus Daz Unemulated Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and I have another Let's Play for, for you. And this is the classic Tempest by Atari back in 1980 stroke 1981. One of the most impressive and well-known vector games you will ever get to play. One of the very rare or very early, I should say, colour vector games. I remember playing this literally back in the day i mean i was i was a young kid i was about eight years old and i saw this in a little tiny local fair i remember it sat in the corner i never got to play it because back then i just didn't you know i was too young to get pocket money and i was just envious of watching older kids play it and i remember this game because of all of the tubes and all of the strange shapes i had that vision for years years and years later think looking back thinking what the hell was that game that was always on my mind that arcade game, all I remember is these weird tunnels and shapes and vector lines. I have no idea what it was called. And it was years and years later, flicking through an old magazine somewhere, some retro games magazine, and uh, I matched the pictures with the name, and it was Tempest. And here we are. Didn't even know what Tempest meant back then, but Tempest means a violent storm. This is kind of it. Now, this game basically is um, a, literally a 100-mile-an-hour shooter. It's ideal to play with if you have a spinner, which I do have now, which is fantastic. Uh, they're quite expensive bloody spinners, but um, um, I got a little bit of a bonus in my wage packet some time ago. And I thought, well, that's money I didn't have at that moment, that bonus. So put it straight on. That was an excuse I knew all I needed to get the uh, to get the spinner. And it was well worth it. Um, you can play it with controllers and things like that, and maybe even the keys, but you need the spinner because you get the inertia. And this game is brilliant. It's for, I hate inertia in, in many games, but this is perfect for it. But it's beautiful. It just it looks absolutely great. And um, one of my all-time favourite arcade games, even though I'm not particularly very good at it. But this is a Let's Play, so let's have a crack at it, shall we? So uh, I've got a credit in. Let's start uh like that and then you can go up the levels if you want to but i'm gonna go um all the way back to level one and here you are so the first few levels is usually quite easy unless i cock it up um yeah a spin is the best way to go you just let it spin like that and i remember that effect all those zooming into the screen like that um, and seeing the tunnels in different shapes, it was just fantastic. And I saw this one guy suddenly hit the red tunnels. I didn't even know they existed. Um, and, I, you know, even when I did get a very rare game, and I couldn't get anywhere. Else. So, um, yeah, they, you get 16 tunnels, 16 shapes. You get a super zapper as well. And after the 16th shape, it changes colour. There's 99 levels altogether. Sadly, no end. Well, I didn't expect an end sequence, but I tell you what, I wouldn't mind it a Guardian. I mean, if you saw the artwork of this machine. Oh, I ran straight into that. If you saw the artwork of this machine, there's a big sort of devil. Now, I pictured the last level having this kind of vector skull. White spikes, never going to the spikes. Yeah, I pictured this white skull making its way to you. That would have been cool. Something like that. Uh, so you get a super zapper each level. You also get a little mini zapper as well. You can, um, ooh, oh, you can use the zapper twice, but it's not as effective. I didn't mean to press that zapper then. Yeah, gotcha. Got you to avoid spikes. Shoot. Thank you. Love that effect. But what we do is we show a few levels at later levels as well. Keep your finger on it, but you get a gap between the fire uh, power, which is a problem because uh, it is now. Because <laughs> I'm going to get through that. I haven't played this in a long time. Damn, you bugger. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. And there's quick fire. Oh, just. Yeah, you've got to play it with a, you've got to play it with the, with a spinner if you can. It's 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 the way to go for this game. Oh, I'm done. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I'm not. Oh, I did. 
Oh, I don't know how I got through that level. A bit more uh, easier to see on this one because you haven't got to spin right around. No, no, go away, go away. Oh, lovely. What shape is it now? Oh, this one. Ah. It's just 100 mile an hour. When the guy invented this game, I what made him determine what speed it should be on. Oh, no. Yeah, I was facing the wrong way. You can get away with it. If you're facing the right way. Oh, I went straight into that. I would love to play this game brilliantly. I, I could do if I spent a lot of time in it. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was something back in the day when you first saw this to see it in vector uh, gaming color the way, the way this is. It was just beautiful. Um, let's, uh, let's check out the later level, shall we? Screw it. So uh, let's go up to the red levels. There we go. Yeah, you get pulsars now. Gotta be careful. Yeah, they electrocute you, so you gotta be careful. Oh, I did it, good. So the 16 levels repeat, as I said, they change color though, and other enemies get introduced. Oh, like that. A zapier. You've got to be careful. Oh, you got through my zapper, you little bugger. Come on, let me do this level. Come on, come on. That's it. Oh, just stuck around too long on there. Oh, I didn't press my zapper that quickly. Oh, damn it. It's so quick. You've got to be so quick. Oh no, no, oh! <laughs> yeah, I'd love to play this properly. I mean, actually be a really good master at it, but uh, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Oh no, 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 oh yeah, I did it. How did I get through that? Yeah, so we check out the later levels. I've put the, uh, put the cheat on so I can select all the levels I want to. Damn, is that it? Right, there's the red levels. Next we go up to, um, oh I got top score, well of course I did because I went straight into a high level didn't I? So, there we go, press start. I've got 40 credits, I don't know why I got 40 credits. Right, yellow levels. Yeah, you get, oh, you get these things now. Blimey, I ain't lasted very long, am I? Damn, I haven't got any, um, <laughs> I haven't got any zapper there. God, I don't know if I've ever done any, any of these levels even without cheats. Oh, I did it then. Damn it. There's the yellow levels. Let's go on to the next ones. Which is... Cyan. I would have preferred white myself, to be honest with you. I lasted long, didn't I? Yeah, it became very hard to find these arcade machines back in the day. Uh, years later. They would eventually get all smashed up and um, either used for other games, the monitors, because it's an XY monitor, vector monitor. Or um, they would just basically rot on the graveyard. Ooh, can I? Oh, I thought I was going to get past that level then. Can't even do that level. Right. Now we've got the invisible levels. So I thought these were going to be white levels, but they're invisible levels. Oh, 
I don't know how people can play this so well. There's, there's actually people out there that can play this game all the way through. And my hat's off to them, really. God, I think that's a second there. Oh, <laughs> come on. Yeah, useless. <laughs> right. The green levels. Yeah, well, at least you can see what you're doing this time. But once you get to level 96, and oh, that was clever, you, um... Yeah, once you get to level 96, the levels repeat until level 99. It just keeps looping over. Oh, blimey. Well, I'm going to have another go at that. That was ridiculous. All the way up there. God, it's so difficult. Even with a spinner. I mean, if, look how fast that is. I mean, if that was me, if I invented the game, if I, I, you know, I would have put it a little bit more slower than this, because Jesus wept. I did quite well there. Let's have another one. One more go at that. One more go at that last level. Right up there. Oh, cornered me. Cornered me on a circle. Christ, 100,000 mile an hour. Insane. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's it. Um, there's one more, uh, uh, one more level I just want to have a go at. And that's the red one of that. Oh, that one. That's the one. Now, I've got the bloom up on mine, and it's beautiful. There was some arcade uh, cabinets which didn't have the bloom on them. And that's the whole point. You've got to have the bloom up to see those lovely vector lines glow. I've done it. Come on. Oh, am I going to get past that? Oh, yes. Cool. Yeah, you can keep your finger on it, but unfortunately, there's a big gap between the firepower, and that's when they get through. So you, you can do that. You see, there's a little, there's a little gap. Yeah, I'll do anything to be able to play this game really well. I say it's one of my favourite games of all time, but I kind of suck it. I've got an extra life there. Hey! I mean, I, 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 I can't do the blue levels. I can get up to about level 14, I think. But, um, yeah, you've got, to, you've got to really dedicate a lot of time to get good at this game. Yeah, definitely. Um... Yes. Well, yes. Let me get past this level. That'd be cool. Oh no, this guy's going to get me. Oh, that was impossible. Ah. <laughs> it is a really good game. I, it just looks great. It, it just got retro all written over it. Very famous retro game of 19. 80 stroke 81 tempest the arcade version fantastic give it a go if you can load it up on main if you can get the settings right it's fantastic but you really need a spinner to come to really appreciate uh, this game uh, it's my favorite vector game of all time even though i'm not brilliant at it if i spend more time on it of course i've got the spinner i'll be able to get better at it but um you know if, if you could, it would be the arcade version, obviously, the actual arcade machine you need to play it on because it's got that XY um, monitor, which gives it that kind of 
sharpness look to it because it's all done with lines instead of horizontal lines it's all done with actual lines the xy monitors so it makes vector graphics look so crisp like all, almost like high definition but otherwise i mean i'm you can't see me playing it on, on what i'm playing on you're looking obviously probably looking at it on a laptop or a pc of a flat screen i'm playing this right at this moment on a through a crt television so i'm getting that lovely bloom it's lovely bloom it's the closest i'll ever get to playing it unless i have an arcade machine itself of the uh original Anyway, that's it for me. I've enjoyed that. So I'm as bad as I played it. I just wanted to review this game because it bloody well deserved it. Classic game. Tempest on the arcade. So thank you very much for joining me on this edition of Let's Play. Until next time, take care of yourselves and please keep coming back to the channel. Please check out my content and please leave comments and definitely please subscribe if you, uh, if you can. Um, lots of goodies on this channel. Have a look around. You're welcome. All right. Thanks very much again. Until next time, Zeus, out.